Okay, I want to bring in serial entrepreneur Peter Diamandis. Uh, Peter has just co-authored the book Bold, How to Go Big, Create Wealth, and Impact the World, in which, uh, Peter, you describe artificial intelligence as one of the technologies that's about to change the world. Me, frankly, I'm kind of old school. It sounds <laughs> kind of scary to me. Uh, but why is so much money being piled into this? Uh, I think the companies that are going to crush it, you know, the Googles, the Ubers, the Airbnbs, they're all AI companies. They're all using data, data mining, machine learning, because the rate at which we're able to collect data out in the world and then use it to make decisions is exploding. Mm. Uh, you know, you've heard of the Internet of Everything, yeah. 12 uh, billion connected devices going to 50 billion with a trillion sensors. So be able to know anything you want, any time you want. And Bold was a book written for entrepreneurs to tell them, you've got the ability now as an entrepreneur to go and do things that only the biggest companies and governments had just 20 years ago. Uh, and it's an amazing time to take on the world's biggest problems, which are billion-dollar opportunities. So break that down for me, though. I sure. mean, what would it cost to start a company now than it would have even five or ten years ago? So, to, the stats are the following. We talk about this in bold. Uh, in 2000, to start a tech company was a $5 million investment. Uh, that same tech company today is a $5,000 investment. It's a thousand times cheaper, which wow. means the number of people starting companies and trying things is exploding. You know, the stat that I love is that 40%, 40% of today's Fortune 500 companies are going to be gone in 10 years. 40%? 40% disruption. And I, when I talk to Fortune 100 CEOs, I say, you are either disrupting yourself or someone else will. Hmm. Right, because the rate of change is so fast, and you are seeing that with companies we hear about in the news, with Uber, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, synthetic biology, all of these exponential tools are now accessible to not just you know, the wealthiest, but to the world. Uh, on artificial intelligence, though, uh, someone who's commented about this, someone you know, uh, is Elon Musk, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, at a, a talk that he gave about a month ago, uh, he spoke about some of the evils that he sees coming out from AI. So, guys, roll that. Be very careful about artificial intelligence. Um, if I were to guess at what our biggest existential threat is, it's probably that. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> a little sensationalism there, but I know Elon, uh, but I also know a lot of the world's top experts in AI, and they are nowhere near as, as threatened by it. Listen, AI is one of the most powerful, it is the most powerful technology we're bringing on. Uh, will it, could it be dangerous? Sure. Is it something that's going to be happening in the next two, three, four, five years? I doubt it. But um, I do think that every company, you know, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, all these companies are making Even massive Alibaba, investments. Even Alibaba, right? Yes, uh, and I am too because AI is such a leverage uh, in the trading world, in the finance world, in manipulating the data. But here's the thing. Entrepreneurs, so for example, uh, uh, IBM with IBM's Watson mm -hmm. has, has opened up the ability for entrepreneurs to create application layers on top of Watson. They put $100 million into a venture fund. And so if you've got an idea for doing something in AI, you can start to tinker with that. Do you have to be the world's expert? No, but you have to have a passion and have a market expertise. Right. And so what I lay out in bold is the how-to on the tech side, mm -hmm. the mindset side, the notion that today you have, to go, you have to go after moonshots. Google calls them moonshot thinking. I call it bold thinking. You can go 10 times bigger while the West of the world is trying to go 10% bigger. And then you've got access to crowdfunding, $15 billion in crowdfunding. The money is there, yeah. It is there to help you. Uh, and ultimately, this is going to be additive for the economy. The general populace looks at this technology you know, and says, I'm seeing jobs lost here. You but know? we're also seeing amazing job creation and stuff we've never seen or heard of before. Right? You have to forget, if we forget that two-thirds of Americans you know, in the 1800s were farmers. And those jobs are all gone due to robotics. But we now do things like, you know, web, you know, television, all kinds of amazing things that were undiscovered and not created before. It's going to continue that way. All right, Peter, great to see you. A Thank pleasure. you so much for stopping by, Peter Diamond, this XPRIZE Foundation chairman, and as I mentioned, co-author of Bold, How to Go Big, Create Wealth, and Impact the World.